this intro for a video that I was so angry with the way the look came out and the way my filming went that I just couldn't keep the makeup on any longer and killed it before I could do the the intro with the look on so here I am with the next day with the spinner pick to say I am so sorry it was a bad day yesterday but you know what I'm showing you anyway because I tell people and it's it's true I don't do a lot of editing on my films so if I get a bad film or a bad look you get it too I'm hoping this one's a little better. First, I forgot to turn the camera on before I started on the eyes. And, and anybody who's been here before knows I start with the eyes. So I had all that eye makeup on until, you know, just before you start doing things like the liner and all that stuff. And then... I got to doing the liner and I tried to do something a little different and let me tell you the eyeliner looked like <laughs> so yeah so then I tried to cover it with something else and then I gave up and I put on a black ma magnetic liner and stuck lashes over that eye line. Yeah. Because really, that liner looked like <laughs> and I wasn't having it. I didn't edit it. I just showed people that it's real easy to make a mistake, and if necessary, eyelashes cover a multitude of sins. Unless the eyelashes you have on are too long to wear behind your glasses. My magnetics are too long to wear behind my glasses. At least this pair is. But since I wasn't worried about putting on my glasses, I slapped the magnetics on and went on about it. Anyway... That's the explanation. Hello. How are you? Yes, I put a clap in so I could get everything matched up. Since I seem to be having all manner of issues today, little things like I had done a little tiny vid a little while ago and I forgot to turn the camera back on to do what I just did to my eyes. Sorry about that. Anyway, it's another one of my picker wheel spins. And I do the picker wheel spins for the challenge. I like the challenge. And there's some of the challenge that part of it is I keep forgetting about pieces that I have. The first thing that the wheel picked for me is from Real Her. It's called Victorious. Yes, I put my singles on because I keep forgetting about them unless something reminds me. I mean, I get had all these singles that came in boxes and I just put them in a little drawer to keep all the little singles together. For all the good that did, I didn't use them. And then I said, okay, fine. You gave me a single. You pick the companion. Give me the challenge. 
So it picked the AOA Studio over the rainbow. Now in this case, I have used this bright yellow, this neon green, and then I mixed this Kelly green with this orange up here kind of a browny orange to get the brown shades in the outer corner because there's nothing in there really dark to darken up that outer corner otherwise I also put some of that brown shade under the lower lashes and then I've got that neon green here and in the inner corner and I took the victorious the real her <coughs> and just finger padded that rather nice shiny but not overly bright pink it's kind of a peachy pink I don't know how well you can see that but on me it's kind of a peachy pink I used my elf white primer putty and I told you about or was going to tell you about until I forgot to oh, let's knock over the mic and really make it an excellent day that was fun I hope you like weird noises anyway I was telling you about beef before I turn the camera on, that the Elf Putty Primer comes in two other colors. Believe it or not, this is called Rose. Looks to me like MAC Paint Pot, but hey, they called it Rose. Who am I to argue? They put a label on it, called it Rose. Fine by me. And then... There's this one. Now that is a case of black. I have not tried the black yet, but I've got a Kara Beauty palette that is calling my name, and this is going with it, the black. The palette that I picked up from Cara Beauty is seriously black, silver, and gray. Gorgeous thing. It's called Cara Duo. That's the, the Duo line from Cara. And the palette itself is called Goddess Nem. N E M. And I'm looking at it going, ha 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 ha. Yes, please. Smoky grays, different levels of black, plenty of silver. It's pretty. But with that one, I'm using the black base. Anyway. I started using the picker wheel for challenges. And I've been using the picker wheel to help me sort through a lot of my makeup because I've got starting back from when I first started the channel which was August of 2018 I made an attempt to try and keep up with the big kids on pulling stuff in and doing reviews. My main problem was I couldn't afford the real newsmakers, the current, you know, new release stuff. I couldn't afford it. But I got 
new stuff from some of the affordables. The problem is the new stuff that was new to me was not new to the internet. So that, after a while I finally got it through my head that I was not meant to be a review channel. And that was my son fussing at a dog. We'll see if you hear it. You might not, depending on what I do when I'm editing. Um, the problem is, because I kept trying to collect stuff to do lots and lots of things with that were different companies, and yeah, I've got, at one point I had 84 pallets. Now, that's nothing compared to, like, whatever Tati ended up with before she fell off. Um, what Angelica has, what Nikki Raven has, what God Help Me Nikki Tutorials has. It's just, I don't have it. But 84 pallets is a lot. For somebody who is not up in the ranks and really is not ever going to be. <laughs> so as I start, they're trying to get the dogs out to go potty. And as I start looking at what I'm going to do from here, I've started decluttering a lot of stuff. I've got Elf, the long black palettes that they came out with originally with the long narrow pans. I've got some that I got before I started and one that I've gotten not so long ago but it's like the Mad for Mats. And I've got the Mad for Mats Jewel Tones. And I've got the Mad for Mats Holy Smoke. And then I've got the Rose Gold Nudes. And then the Rose Gold Sunset. And then the Prism. I've got I was not always really thrilled with Elf's eyeshadow formula. The long black pans were not my favorites. And since they've come out with things like Earth and Ocean and the their hot chocolate, I'm really not thrilled with the older formula. So I'm passing that to my grandchildren, and it's like, here, you go play with it. Plus, I've discovered that the AOA Studio, otherwise known as Shopless A, with their proprietary brand, which is AOA Studio, Their formula in these palettes makes me very happy. This is an all matte palette. So I've only got the one shimmer going on, which is the real her. I love AOA Studio. So the versions of Elf that I'm not happy with are going to my grandchildren. They can learn to put stuff on and one of them is 16 going on 3 about the stuff she wants to use and whether or not she wants to learn to use it 
So, I'm not that worried that the stuff is not greatly colored. Let them play. But I'm starting to get rid of stuff that are basically duplicates just from different companies. I'm keeping the formulas I like. I'm using the picker wheel to make me use these palettes so that I go through them and weed them out efficiently. And in the meantime, I've gotten rid of other stuff. I mean, I'm I've been cutting down the number of colors that I have. You know, I've got things like, I got a Pacifica highlighter in one of the boxes. And I really like it. I don't need that many. I've still got an Ofra from one of the boxes if I want a cream color. I've got Pacifica in blush and bronzer sets which I really like. I've got two of these that are two different colors. This one is Desert Sunset. The other one I think is called Cherry Blossom. They're wonderful. They're wonderful. I use them a lot. I'm keeping those. The ones that I don't use are going to the kids. Let them play. And it's like, yeah, they can play with it all they want. They don't want to hear from me about makeup technique and, you know, how to do this and how to do that and how to get the best color payoff. Oh, they're playing in the kitchen, yelling at the puppies. The puppies get in the kitchen and then all hell breaks loose. Anyway. This is what I got done before I realized that heaven help me, I didn't have the camera on. So, I took the yellow, started up in the crease, blended up, took the light green, started in this way and a little bit up, came in this way and a little bit up, took that Kelly green and the deep brownish orange and did the corners so that they were a little deeper and under the lower lashes. That's where I had stopped and was getting ready to turn off the camera so I could go finish everything else and you don't have to sit here and listen to me natter. So I'm going to go finish everything else now. I'll be back. No, I, I promise. I promise. I will be back. Hopefully, actually finished, and hopefully turning the dang camera back on. What do you think of that? There you go. That's what I have done. Yes, I'm trying to sit closer to the camera to see if you can actually see things a little better. And yes, I'm wearing lashes this time because lashes cover a multitude of screw-ups. My eyeliner got completely out of control. And since it got completely out of control, I reached down and got some of my KISS magnetic lashes and ran the magnetic eyeliner over the rest of it. And I love magnetic lashes. You can take them off and put them on. You just got to put the liner on and if you make 
a boo-boo in how you set them on the first time and you need to move them over just a little bit because maybe one of them is set too close to the inner corner of the eye and it's poking you. Gently pull it off, move it over a little bit, and do it again. Unlike glue, you usually don't have a problem repositioning the magnetics without, you know, where you don't have to like reapply the glue and re and fix the eyeliner, at least not the ones that I've encountered. I've used some that I picked up on um, AliExpress, some that I've picked up at on Amazon. I'm thinking about trying the AOA magnetics. I haven't seen very many styles though. And I have to be careful with my styles because I normally wear glasses. And if the lashes bang into the glasses, it's very uncomfortable. Back when I still wore contacts, I could get away with lashes a lot easier. But here we are. I've got Pacifica Rose Quartz Highlighter in on the face. And I forgot to put anything in the inner corner. So I'm going to take this little brush that I used to put some of the neon green under the lower lashes after I put the green pencil just pop that on there just a little bit like that and believe it or not I've already got some of this up under the brow just a bit. See, I have a habit where I'm putting on my highlight. I take my highlighter brush and I kind of sweep around a little and I sweep over the brow so that right up through here I get some of the highlight. Very light, very easy, very cool. The lipstick is from Nika K and it's shade NMS12. There is another one that is <clears throat> a darker shade of green. It's shade 11. But I figured with using that neon on the eye look, I would put the neon on the mouth. <clears throat> what do you think? Come on, guys. Tell me I'm gorgeous. Let's go. I can't hear you. Anyway, there we go. Now, you, if you, even if you haven't been here before, I'm trying to come up with a new closing. I mean, it's spring. It's the renewal. Yes. Let's come up with something different. I'm thinking about it. However, be good. I don't have any bail money for you. Just be good. Bye.